All right, what is going on, my dudes? We're back here today with the second champion buffed in February of 2023, and it just so happens to be the second pretty good buff. Uh, yeah, so Gore, definitely a, a pretty much a home run, in my opinion. Uh, just missing that willpower healing, but aside from that, the dude is a beast now. America Chavez, I'm honestly feeling the same way, dude. I'm I was getting pretty happy, getting pretty excited playing with her. I've had her at rank three since uh, Cyber Weekend. I haven't used her too much. I used her in like a few battlegrounds matches. I stick her on defense every now and then, and, and she does pretty pretty well, as you guys know. She's a very annoying defender, right? So now on top of that, she's going to be a very solid attacker as well, especially in the right matchup. And that's something we're going to be really focusing on today: where you want to use America Chavez, how you want to use her, and where she's really going to excel. Because where she's supposed to excel, she excels quite highly. Okay. So uh, my America is rank three. We're going to be rolling with a rank three America Chavez today. And of course, again, just like last time, we have our buddy Kat Murdoch who made this absolutely beautiful graphic. Go check her out on Twitter. She posts them there. Um, yeah, and also she's making YouTube videos too, so go check out her YouTube as well. Anyway, um, yeah, so so same thing as last time. The old is in the red, the new is in the green. Much like Gore, not much has changed, but really, it she, she just never needed much. She was just missing damage, right? And this is essentially going to be increasing her damage by quite a bit. Gore became less stressful to play. America hits harder. That's what they both needed. It was a very solid value for both. Just like plug in what they need. Um, I wish that these type of buffs would happen more often because, you know, of course, these buffs do definitely take time and testing and all that stuff. But, you know, it's definitely less than like a full rework. And I feel like there are a lot of champions that kind of live in the zone of like needing just that little extra push to become quite good. So, yeah, who knows? Maybe we'll see more of those in the future. Maybe we won't. Who knows? We're going to deal with what we got for now. And that's America Chavez. So, um, quick thing. One thing that was added, okay, for her Utopian Parallel. Um, you're gonna, it's, it always reduces the fury, armor, precision, cruelty, potency by 70%, but now it's adding pierce specifically to counter Hulkling. So uh, it's gonna be better for dealing with Hulkling now. Um, on top of that, um, the dimensions have suffered a 20% reduced duration for every additional stack. Now that's reduced down to 15%. That's not gonna be too noticeable, but still it is something, but this is where the big change actually happens. So for the dimensional energy infusion, okay? It used to be a max of nine. Now it's a max of six. Cool, you were never hitting that nine stack anyway, okay? So it used to be plus, this is based on like a five star rank five or something, um, 584 attack rating. Now it's 974, just so we could see um, a rank three, right? Which is what a lot of people are gonna be dealing with is going to be increasing attack rating by 1256 per, okay? That's quite a bit, that is quite a bit, all right? So um, let's just say over a thousand, right? Per each unique parallel dimension on America Chavez, or, and this is where the, the, the matchup thing comes into play, each buff on the opponent. Now, this does not say each unique buff on the opponent, okay? That's gonna be six of the same damn buff, okay? So there are some champions who start with six buffs, and there you're good to go, and you're hitting really hard in those matchups, and we're gonna definitely be showing that today. Aside from that, Namas has changed. She gained additional energy resistance as well, and that's going to be very solid against certain cosmic defenders, and we will be showing that, okay? So, yeah, basically, the way that we want to play America Chavez, it, it pretty much goes like this. If you're in the right matchup, you're going to want to do your typical rotation, but if you're not in the right matchup, like against our buddy, our buddy Deadpool today... All right, this is not the perfect matchup for her. We're gonna have to create those dimensions ourselves. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing here right away is we're gonna come into the corner. We're gonna go for our heavy attacks, all right? Boom, there's one of our dimensions, okay? So we're gonna get all three of them. We're gonna stack them up, um, right? Just wanna make sure that, that that that's not gonna fall off that dimension, okay? As we're building up to our special, special, um, our special two. So now we have three of those. We're gonna go for a heavy attack, hit two times into the special one. We now have that additional, um, dimension we're gonna go for just one hit and now look at this we're at our special two it's lovely we have all three of our dimensions up right we're gonna go for another one here because that's the first one we put up so it doesn't fall off and we're gonna go right in for one hit and we're gonna get three of those and bam he's almost dead big crits big burst damage check it out okay so let's look at the let's look at the numbers here okay no buffs on deadpool all right, so 23,000, 12,000, and for the red damage, 11,000, 6,000, big special two. Too long, didn't read, big special two. Now, it almost killed him. If we had one more crit, it would have killed him. There's a buff on Deadpool now, so we're getting some extra damage, right? Um, but yeah, basically, as you can see, you, you want to use this champion against the cosmic defenders who have lots of buffs, okay? So she started hitting hard once she ramped up, right? 
Here's the thing. That's how she's gonna be hitting against those cosmic defenders who start with buffs, right? Who's gonna give you that additional 6,000 attack rating right out of the gate. She's gonna be rolling in with about 9,000 attack rating in those matchups. So of course, guess what we did? We went through those in my my cosmic roster here, right? And up against Gore, check it out, we're hitting, I mean, he's almost dead from one combo, okay? So the, look, we're going right away with the 6K light attacks. The medium's gonna be hitting for about 10K. The first hit of the heavy is 13K. Here we got hit, nice. Look at this. We gain energy resistance, right? Check it out. We gain energy resistance per our Utopian Parallels or buffs. We're actually healing from his shock right now, okay? We're healing from the shock he puts on you. Now, of course, when you're fighting Gore, ideally you want to not get hit by that, even with America Chavez, even with the energy resistance. But if you happen to slip up, there you go. Against Gallon, she's going to be very, very, very good against Gallon because Gallon is going to get those Fury buffs, right? And the way she spams specials, it's perfect for countering Gallon. So check it out, right? We're going to go ahead and bait that out. He now has four buffs on him, 9k medium into this. Oh my goodness gracious, the planetary mass is gone and you're going to repeat that process until you nuke him with the special too. Hulkling, very good for fighting Hulkling because of the, the, the purest re reduction now, but also more importantly, there are just all these buffs on Hulkling all the time. All the time there are buffs on Hulkling, right? So, especially if you're using Mystic Dispersion, by the way, you're gonna be spamming special twos like it is your freaking job, all right? So look, 11K medium attack, we're gonna go into the special one, right? All the buffs are really fueling her damage here. We're just following the same rotation, keeping our parallel dimensions up and doing big damage against Cosmic Defenders. 11K medium right out of the gate against Hulkling without suicides on or anything special, no synergies or nothing, that is quite good. So against Icarus, for example, right? Look at that, we got our six buffs. We got our plus 6,000 attack rating. Very, very nice here, right? 13K with the first on the medium attack. I'm not even like, listen, these are of course duels in my roster, so they don't have huge health pools, right? But they're dying very fast to the point where I can't even get to the special two to show you. And these are all like the annoying cosmic defenders that are so annoying, right? Now the power gain, we're actually reducing that with the negative, with the negative dimension or whatever it's called, the, the, the purple, the purple passive reduces the power. Like he's gaining no power. He's getting no power. It's great. You know, that's a good, that's good. That's good stuff there. Let's show it with Hyperion, right? So I got a new phone by the way, and, and I'm finding the Impostor a little wonky watch this went to go for a heavy attack just didn't happen just didn't happen that's all right though not the big of a deal so um what's great about her is that you don't have to parry heavy you can go in with the combo and you can go for the heavy attack and look at his power gain when you got three stacks oh my goodness gracious it is going in reverse it's going in reverse she's like mystic spidey 2099 except she actually did it first she did it first. Spidey came out the next month and made that power gain reversal kind of irrelevant because he doesn't much better. But it's very useful against these cosmic defenders. For example, Arcus, you get the energy res um, resistance as well against Arcus, check it out. Now he has some sort of like power manipulation immunity type thing or it's like less effective so it's not going to reverse his power gain much but it is going to keep it under control and plus we're going to have that energy resistance for the cold snap, okay? And also we're gonna be gaining extra attack for all of his power gain buffs. He gains up to five of them, right? So that's very solid. Now, of course, cosmic defenders aren't the only champions who have buffs. They could be on nodes, they could be on tech defenders, they could be on any type of defender who isn't buff immune. They have they have buffs, right? It's just going to increase our damage. Now, of course, Howard the God here, he's got that armor, so, but yeah, I mean, come on. Pretty decent stuff, man. So now she's got the energy resistance, right? And of course the buffs are going to increase your damage rating. And also at the same time, um, her utopian parallel is going to reduce the potency of fury buffs by uh, 70%, right? There's this really big Terax in Act 7. 400,000 health, unlimited power, mystic ward, mystic curse, all these things, okay? So now we're gonna go up against him with America Chavez, buffed America Chavez here, okay? No synergies, no nothing, okay? Just America Chavez. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start out building up our zones, right? There's no buffs on Terax just yet. As you can see, we're taking some energy damage, right? That, that, but because we don't have our stuff built up yet. But now, once we're building up these parallel thingies, and he's got some buffs on him, you'll notice that the energy damage kind of stops when, the, when he has the rock field active, okay? So we're building up our stuff just like we always have, and now he's gonna be gaining his buffs, and those fury buffs aren't going anywhere. He has six permanent fury buffs, so we got our attack rating good to go now, okay? Baiting out a special one, gonna run right into it for the style points, why not? Look at it, we reduced the potency of those Furies by quite a bit and we survived. Gonna go for a special two now with all of our stuff active and that was a big chunky special two. Now, another thing here is that her special two gains different 
um, benefits based on the last active dimension that you did. The purple one, the negative zone, makes it unblockable. The first one increases the potency. However, the second one, the dark dimension, is going to regenerate a bit based on how much you do. So check it out. From 80% of health up to 85%. Okay? So... Yeah, really not too bad. Really not too bad there. And kind of like against Gore, like we did, that was about 60 seconds, by the way, 400,000 health. Um, we, we went in against this Drax in the side quest. Why not? If you want to use her in a side quest, this is how it's going to look, okay? With a rank three America Chavez. Now, Drax does not have a ton of buffs, so we're going to go ahead and build up our dimensions just like we have been. That's just what you're going to do, whether they have buffs or not. And when they have buffs, you get extra damage and you're going to see big yellow numbers. That's essentially how it's going to work with her, you know? Um, so yeah, with Drax, when he uses a special attack, he gains a fury or whatever. Who knows Who knows how Drax works? It seems like he gains a fury when he uses a special attack, right? And there we go. We're going to build up here. I love the, the special chaining. It's really fun to play with her. And now, man, the damage is, is, is respectable with her. Check it out. Right here after the special two really not too bad he is almost dead this is 200,000 health done in 40 seconds so man the thing is though it's like with her she was always a, a decent dual use battlegrounds champion where like you know stick her on defense that there's no counter she's gonna charge her heavy attacks wildly she's probably gonna be a pain in the ass and she'd be like decent in certain metas and against certain defenders now dude where all these cosmic defenders are, are being so obnoxious in Battlegrounds, man, she's going to literally, genuinely be a very solid attacker in Battlegrounds as well. Not just against cosmic attacker defenders, because now, when they don't have buffs and non-ideal matchups, you're pretty much doing double the damage that you were... Not, not double, but I mean, you're gaining double the additional attack that you were from your dimensions. Because you're going, as you can see, as a five star rank five, we're going from plus 500 about attack rating to plus almost 1000 attack rating, right? That's for the unique parallel dimensions. That's a big increase. That is, that is doubling the additional da attack damage, attack rating that she receives, right? From that ability. And of course, if they have buffs, it's doubling that as well. So overall, that little tiny change is really increasing the damage output that she's going to be able to do against ideal matchups, right? With the power and, 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 the, and the buffs and all of that fun stuff, but also just some vanilla matchups. So man, back in the day when, when champions were getting buffed left and right, my favorite buffs were the value buffs. They always were. I felt like the value buffs just really did not miss, aside from like Nova, not, not much happened with him. Um, <laughs> Psycho Man as well. But before that, before that, right, the value buffs really did not miss. And I feel like this month came in very strong with the two America Chavez and Gore buffs. They both, uh, are, they, they, they both accomplished what they needed to accomplish. Gore is less stressful to play. America Chavez hits a lot harder now, which is really great, man. That was always her, she always had a decent kit. She just had noodle hands, man. Even in the right matchup, she wasn't the best. But now she's going to be solid in, in non-ideal matchups. And in ideal matchups, she's going to be a very great mystic attacker against those annoying cosmic defenders. Um, so that's awesome, man. Very happy to see that. Uh, she's also an attack tactic attacker for the next two alliance four seasons as well so um unfortunately though she does put a neutralize and a fate seal with the attack tactic so um, it's actually going to make her a little bit worse but yeah okay that's it for this one i hope you enjoyed it um if you did drop your boy a big old like by the way actually Spot is entering the featured pool tomorrow, and this is a very solid synergy for her. Lower opponent's energy resistance by 15% for each unique parallel dimension and buff on the opponent. That's going to make her special to hit very hard, okay? Um, so yeah, that's... But I'll let you guys try that one out, or maybe I'll make that video later. I don't know! I'm not making it out, though, because I'm done with this. And I recorded everything, and I'm hungry, and I gotta go to the gym, and... Um... Yeah, I'll be seeing you around, guys. Big crystal opening coming tomorrow. Huge crystal opening coming tomorrow, by the way. So hit the subscribe button.